Oftentimes, you may know the face, but not the name. Kelly Perrine is that guy. He's made a career out of his consistency, appearing in many of your favorite TV shows, spending decades in the sitcom circuit. Perrine has made an entire career out of playing the best friend, most notably on the UPN sitcom One on One starring Flex Alexander and Kyla Pratt. We remember Perrine as Dwayne Knox, the next door neighbor, and Robin to Flex's Batman. For four seasons, Perrine provided laughs on camera as a car salesman who always tried to get over on his customers. His likability is what drew audiences in and his relatability caused him to continue to tune in week after week. Perrine's quick-witted comebacks as Dwayne left an impression on fans, which is why Kelly Perrine will always be unforgotten. Perrine grew up in State College, Pennsylvania and always considered himself an actor. His mother was a chemical engineer and his dad was a professor at Pennsylvania State University, but also was an active member in community theater. As a result, Perrine often went with his dad to several productions and has been acting on stage himself since he was four years old, starting in community theater all around the state. Perrine has stated that his parents were always very supportive of him when he made the decision to become an actor. Part of the reason is because he was following in the footsteps of his own father. Perrine's mother was just excited that he was able to finish school. Growing up in Pennsylvania, Perrine has gone on record saying he was bullied. Eventually, he found a way to make the bullies laugh at him as opposed to beating him up. When you grow up and you're the short chubby kid, you gotta make the girls laugh. Spending most of his time in high school acting, Perrine dabbled in some improv when he got to Panoma College in Claremont, California, where he majored in film studies. Perrine found some success in the improv world and he would later go for his master's degree out west at University of California, Irvine, majoring in drama. Perrine credits his improv courses with keeping him sharp and quick-witted. Success in improv gave Perrine enough confidence to try his hand at stand-up comedy, and he even ran a comedy room. Perrine was good at stand-up comedy, however, he soon realized that he didn't have the same passion for stand-up like some of his peers. Perrine used the stage time just to get a show or to be seen by casting directors, not because stand-up comedy was where his heart was. In 1990, when Perrine was still in undergrad college, he booked his first major acting role in the Fox drama 21 Jump Street. Perrine was just 20 years old, but he would go uncredited for the role. After a guest appearance in the sitcom Mad About You in 1994, Perrine got a role in another rising sitcom, The Drew Carey Show. When Perrine was cast, he was only scheduled to be in one episode. Perrine showed up on time and was remembered by the crew for his work ethic, which left an impression. A few weeks later, they needed to bring an actor on as a security guard, and Perrine got the role and appeared in 17 episodes of the series. In a 2013 interview, Perrine reflected on the experience. Drew Carey was one of my first big gigs. I started on the first season when the whole show was just getting rolling. I only had two lines. Then they brought me back for four lines, then eight lines, and I ended up doing the show on and off for the next five years. It wasn't written as a recurring role. To me, it was a testament to the fact that no matter how small the part or how little you're given or how few the lines, you have got to be professional. Do your best and knock it out the park. You never know what's going to happen. While consistently appearing on The Drew Carey Show, Perrine scored guest roles on a few more notable sitcoms like Living Single, Seinfeld, Family Matters, and Malcolm and Eddie. Perrine was in a number of episodes of Hanging with Mr. Cooper, where he played three different characters over the course of five episodes between 1995 to 1997. In 1996, he played Kelly Peterson in 12 episodes of The Parenthood, acting as Robert Townsend's brother. Perrine was consistent when it came to his work on television sitcoms. Right after getting his master's degree, Perrine booked the series Between Brothers, which would be his first time as a series regular. The sitcom also starred Kadeem Hardison, Dondre T. Whitfield, and Tommy Davison. The series premiered in fall of 1997 on Fox and showcased four black men in their late 20s, two of them being brothers with opposite personalities. Hardison and Davison were coming off of A Different World and A Living Color, respectively, while Whitfield had just finished a stint as a series regular on the soap opera All My Children. Perrine was the new kid on the block. Unfortunately, the star power of Hardison and Davison wouldn't save the show, 
as it was canceled by Fox after just 13 episodes. UPN, however, would come in and end up picking up the show for season two, but would only air four episodes before they too canceled the show. Perrine, however, would continue to pave a lane for himself in the industry. He got calls from nearly all of the original Kings of Comedy, guest starring on The Steve Harvey Show, The Hughleys, and The Bernie Mac Show. He was perfect for the comedy format. Another recurring role shortly followed on the WB sitcom For Your Love, starring Harley Robinson Pete. In 2001, Perrine would find his most notable role to date after being cast as Dwayne Knox in the sitcom One on One. One on One will follow a single father, Flex Alexander, raising his teenage daughter, Brianna, played by Kyla Pratt. In the sitcom, Perrine would play Flex's best friend that lived across the hall. In the series, Flex was the ladies man and Dwayne, on the other hand, was the exact opposite. One who often caused women to run away in the other direction. Dwayne was also a car salesman that found man, ways to cheat his customers. Right. I eat sleeves for breakfast and wash it down with a big tall glass of dishonesty. <laughs> Perrine appeared in 91 episodes of the show between 2001 to 2005. Perrine's timing on screen would win over fans each week. Now, the show starred Flex Alexander, but Perrine knew how to steal a scene without offending his co-stars, and would position himself as one of Hollywood's most overlooked talents. In an interview with Buzz Talk Live, Perrine would open up about being a good wingman when it comes to co-starring on a show. You have as many opportunities that you want to create for yourself. And so if you walk onto a set and think to yourself, this is my one shot and I got to impress everybody, you know the thing you can do special is hit your mark, be on time. Everybody on set has fires that they're trying to put out. Your job is not to be a fire to be put out. Understanding this isn't about me. In September of 2020, Perrine was a guest on the Atlanta podcast where he revealed how we found out that he wouldn't be appearing in the then upcoming season of One on One. It's a bummer because you know you're thrown back into the let's do it again mix, into the grind. It's part of the job and you go back into how do I get my next 10 auditions. After the show's fourth season, the contracts for some of the cast were up. Instead of renewing, the network decided season five will focus on Brianna and Arnez's characters going to college in California. As a result of changing the entire premise of the series, the show catered to a different audience than the one it had built for four seasons. Perrine said he was in Las Vegas where he got a call from the executive producer. They explained to Perrine that the show would be going in a different direction for the fifth season. The change of the direction was blamed on the then president of UPN at the time, Don Ostroff. Other sources like TV series finale say budget cuts are what ruined the show. Perrine wasn't the only cast member who didn't return for season five. Cicely Sewell, who played Spirit, was also written out of the show, and its star Flex Alexander was also written out, but would later guest star in six episodes. One on One would eventually be canceled the following year. The show did produce a spinoff series, Cuts, centered around Flex's brother, played by Marcus Houston. Perrine reprised his role as Dwayne in one episode of the then spinoff show. However, Cuts was canceled after one season, the same year as One on One. The cancellation of One on One didn't slow down Perrine, however, as he continued to work in the industry as a guest star on various sitcoms. In 2008, Perrine got another series regular role in the sitcom Under One Roof, starring Flavor Flav. The series was a take on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, where Perrine and Flavor Flav played brothers. Perrine played Winston Hill, a Carlton Banks type who was now successful with his own family living in a mansion, and Flav played Calvester Hill, the brother that just got out of prison and is now staying with the family. The show would only last 13 episodes before its cancellation. After the cancellation of Under One Roof in 2009, Perrine appeared in the show's True Jackson, VP, Till Death, and Are We There Yet? In addition to these shows, Perrine has acted in several short films and is determined to get several of his own projects off the ground. I've always had shit to do. I've done all right. I'm a salesman, and what I'm selling is Kelly Perrine products. If I get 10 auditions, I figure I get four callbacks. If you're not getting auditions, then you have to figure out why. In 2018, Perrine joined the Nickelodeon series Night Squad, a fantasy show set in medieval times. Perrine was a series regular on the show as well, 
and made it in 30 episodes before the show was canceled after two seasons. The show aired its last episode in 2019. Most recently, Perina stated that he now wants to write roles for himself and has completed several scripts. If you were to name your favorite sitcom, odds are Kelly Perrine has been part of that show. Now approaching three decades in Hollywood and continuing to get consistent work makes Perrine a veteran in the sitcom world. Perrine has made us laugh with his antics week after week and we've tuned in every time. Despite having all the necessary talents to star on his own show, Perrine has interestingly enough been overlooked at times, but it never appeared to be his goal. I didn't come to Hollywood to be a star. When we think of Dwayne Knox, other sidekick characters like Carl Payne and Cedric Robinson come to mind, and Dwayne also stood out on his own, which is why Kelly Perrine will always remain unforgotten.